My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to lay out a book in InDesign. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to New, and there's two ways to go about doing this. Um, the first thing you're going to do is open up a new book and name it whatever you want. Um, I happen to already have one here called Book 2. And then you're going to go to File, New, Document. The way I'm going to show you how to do this is I'm going to show you how to do it per chapter if you're writing a book that has chapters in it. So <clears throat> I'm going to say the first number of pages is going to be, let's say, 10. And make sure that when you're laying out a book, you always have this particular button facing pages checked because this is going to help you understand how the book is laid out. So then once you've figured out what sizes you want, and these are OK with me, you say OK and then you're going to get your pages. Now, you can also zoom out by pushing Command minus or plus, um, or you can go to View, and you can go to Zoom Out. And this is going to show you, um, essentially, what your pages look like all together. So you're going to first start off with your front page. And like I said, this is all based on what you're making. But once you have all your pages finished, you're going to save this as chapter one. Make sure you save it as an InDesign file because th that, that's really important and I'll show you why in just a moment. So I'm going to save it on my desktop and then you go back over to your book and as you see there's nothing there so make sure you push this plus button and what this is going to do is it's going to open up your window of opportunity essentially to add whatever you've just made so chapter one is what we're going to select. You say open and this is going to define your first 10 pages because it knows, it knows how many pages you've got and you can continue to do, to do this per chapter. You can even do one for your uh, table of contents, etc. So, and always remember that you can save it and you can also print it and adding is the most important part obviously because it's really going to fill your book. My name is Alex, and this is how you lay out a book in InDesign. Thank you.